Franklin International um, makes two uh, waterproof glues. Well, uh, they make uh, one waterproof, the ultimate type bond three, they call this waterproof. And then they make um, one they'll call water resistant. Uh, that's the uh, type bond two, the premium one glue. So what we're going to talk a little bit about right now is the water resistant glue type bond two. Um, it's made by Franklin International. Uh, it's a premium wood glue, a professional strength. Uh, so it will, it, it has the, the ability to hold your projects together very well. The primary thing about this glue and why people are buying it is because of it's water resistant. Uh, it passes the um, uh, ANSI type 2 water resistant test. So it can, uh, it can be used for things that are uh, going to get a little bit wet. For example, you could use this to uh, build a birdhouse or uh, some outdoor furniture. Maybe you're going to build a bench or something to set outside. Or you're building a, a mailbox out of wood. Uh, some people have used them on picnic tables and signs. So there's a lot of uses for a water resistant glue. Uh, just to give you an example of uh, how water resistant these are, uh, let, me, uh, let me tell you just how they do the test. Uh, the test uh, involves um, they, they glue up a birch, pl birch plywood into six by six uh, plywood sheets and then for the uh, type 2 test in order to pass the type 2 test um, they take those six by six pieces of plywood birch plywood that they've glued up and cut them into uh, two by five uh, specimens. Why in the world they cut them down? I don't know, but they do. They cut them down and then they soak them for four hours. Then they put them in an oven and they bake them uh, about 120 degrees um, for 19 hours. And then they repeat that same process uh, for a total of three cycles. And then when they try to shear the product, it can't delaminate or, or it won't pass the water resistant test. Well, now that sounds like a pretty water uh, resistant glue to me. Uh, you might even call it uh, a waterproof if you want to. Uh, the uh, thing about the Tight Bond 2 is that um, it's nice that it has the ability to be used both interior and exterior. In fact, some cabinet shops, this is the glue they use for everything. Uh, the assembly time is from 5 to 10 minutes, and then you got to get it into clamps and clamp it for 30 minutes or, or a little bit longer. A uh, shop temperature has to be above 55 degrees for tight bond uh, to water resistant glue. So this is an extremely good glue to use uh, in your hobby shop or in your cabinet shop, uh, wood on wood glue. So tight bond 2 is cheaper than tight bond 3. Um, and so why would somebody buy tight bond 3, the one that they call the ultimate uh, water uh, proof glue? Well, uh, there is a reason. Uh, here, here's the reason you would possibly switch and use Type Bond 3 on some projects. It passes the test uh, Type 1, which is a little more stringent than Type 2. So it's waterproof rather than water resistance. They both do about the same thing. But the, the, um, the advantage of buying this is the assembly time. If you've got a complicated project, you've got uh, more time, almost double the time you have with, with uh, Type Bond. Too. and uh, your temperature can be a little bit lower so there are some advantages now while both these glues are uh, water resistant or waterproof they need to be the projects need to be assembled with dry wood uh, and then they can be exposed to moisture after that you don't want to be trying to glue up something that's already wet so these are excellent glues to have uh, either at your home for your hobby shop or um, even in, um, in your cabinet shop. These are professional grade uh, glues.